Hi everyone, today's tutorial is going to be how I fish jig streamers on my Euro rig during winter. Before we get started, I just wanted to say a quick thanks to everyone that's placed an order through my store. The support's been pretty phenomenal and I can't thank you guys enough. For those of you that have reached out to me, it's been cool seeing the pictures and reading the emails and comments about the fish you've caught on my flies. It makes me happy to know that some of my patterns have helped you guys move some nice fish out there. So one of the other topics I get a lot of emails and comments about is how I fish my jig streamers. So I thought I'd put together this tutorial here explaining what I do and what I'm looking for when I'm out there fishing. So to get started, this is just a simple diagram of the Euro Nymph rig that I use to fish the double streamer setup. The only changes I really make to it are I fish 4x instead of 5 or 6x. My tag end is a little bit longer than I typically fish on a nymph rig. You can fish this rig on like a tight line nymph rig in a pinch, but it really does fish better on the Euro rig. So here are a few key points I want you to think in mind when fishing your big streamer rig. The first point I want to emphasize is to think vertically and not horizontally. Jig streamers are tied on a jig hook with a slotted bead, which means the streamer will invert underwater and ride hook point up. The eye of the hook on a jig streamer is also positioned, so when you put tension on the rig, it'll rise up in the water column as opposed to glide towards you. So. The idea behind this is that you cast your jig streamer rig into a specific lane of current that you think the fish are set up in, and then you jig it up and down while keeping the rig in that current to keep the streamers in the strike zone. So this brings us to our second point, which is that ambush is key for both you and the fish. So that means for the fish, especially in winter, they're looking to ambush their food which means they don't want to move very far out of their lie to go chase something down. So by fishing through the specific lane that they're holding in, you can jig the streamer up and down as it moves towards them, giving them the opportunity to ambush their prey. And what I mean by you ambushing the fish, you want your approach into spots to be that each new cast is fishing to new fish. The takes you get on this rig are generally going to be reaction strikes where the fish is seeing the rig for the first time and they're making a des decision whether to hit it or not. The more cast you make into a spot, the less and less likely you are to get bit. So you really want to be working through water and setting yourself up so that you make that fish sitting in that new water make a pretty instantaneous decision on whether they're going to commit and take your fly. The third point is that we want to be fishing this on our Euro rig, which means fishing up and across and not downstream and on the swing. The fly's designed to get down quick on slack line so you can get down into the strike zone and start your jigging motion. So you'll want to make your standard upstream or quartering upstream Euro nymphing cast and leading the flies down through the strike zone. The rig will fish okay downstream and on the swing, but it's not really what it was intended to do. The final point is that since we're fishing this on relatively shorter line with a jig hook, it's okay to trout set. You don't need to strip set with this rig. In fact, trout setting will make you more likely to pin the fish in the top of the mouth. So now let's move on to specific holding water for winter trout and fishing the jig streamer rig through it. So the first type of holding water is slack water and back eddy. So here's an example of one of those slack water spots. I've casted my jig streamer rig all the way into the slack water near that opposite bank. I let it get down deep and then make a few jigging motions and the fish hits it on the second jig. The pretty nice brown. So what I'm looking to do in spots like this is to cast up into the shallow water on those slack water areas, let the rig get down, 
And then kind of bounce it down the depths of that little spot. When you bounce it down, you kind of give the fish that are holding in that deeper water a chance to ambush from shallow to deep. So doing something like that can lead to a nice brown like this one. The second winter holding water type is deep runs with structure. So here we have one of those nice deep runs with a lot of rock structure. I make my cast quartering upstream, let the rig get down and make a few jigging motions once the fly is near the bottom. It leads to this nice rainbow trout here. If you were to go back and watch the clip, you'll see I cast in the, into a specific lane of current. And as soon as I start working it, you can see me lifting up and down, but the rig's not really working back towards me. It's staying in that lane of current. And that's one of those important things about fishing this big streamer rig. And it leads to this really nice rainbow trout. So the third winter holding water type is soft seams next to fast current. So this is a great clip to emphasize how your rig stays in one lane of current. I've casted it into the seam here where we've got this fast current in front of us and slack water behind us. But you can see the rig is moving along the lane at the same pace the whole way. So we're keeping the rig in the same seam of current and it leads to this nice brown. This one kind of got a little crazy on me. But this clip, fishing a soft seam next to faster water, is a great way to emphasize how the rig moves vertically and not horizontally. The last winter holding water type I want to focus on are riffles. So for this clip, I just kind of wanted to show off the versatility of the rig. I've got some fish feeding and some riffles up ahead of me. And I casted it into about knee deep water, pretty much the same lane I'm standing in. And you can see even in shallow water, you can still move some fish. So it doesn't just need to be like deep urine nymphing water, that shallow riffly water. You can still bounce the rig through it and pick one up. Anyways, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Just a few strategies I use when fishing my jig streamer rig. It's been producing a ton of fish for me over the past two months, so I figured I'd try and put out a short tutorial on it. If you want to pick up my jig sculptzilla pattern from my store, it fishes really well on this rig, I encourage you to check it out. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like it down below. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks and stay safe.